Welcome to another video tutorial from 3DGameArtGuru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer version 1 to show you how to create a landscape using gradients, the pen tool, Gaussian blurs and tapered strokes. Let's get started with an empty artboard. Add a rectangle that covers two thirds of the artboard and give it a gradient. While preparing this video, I created a few sunrise gradients. Grab them for free, the link is in the description below. I'm using one of them, adjust the direction, duplicate the rectangle and scale it to fit the bottom. The idea is to create water below that reflects the sky above. To make it a sunrise, I add a circle for the sun, give it a white color and a Gaussian blue. This will be the glow. I duplicate the shape and create a slightly smaller version with less Gaussian blur and higher opacity for the sun itself. I duplicate the shape, squash it and use a few copies to create the sun's reflection in the water. I created a silhouette for the shore with some trees earlier. It's a rectangle deformed with the node tool and triangles added on top combined with a boolean head. I scale it and position it at the bottom of the sky rectangle. Duplicate and mirror it for the reflection. Lower the opacity of the reflection. Change the color and the layer blend mode to a multiply. This will give me richer colors. In order to add some waves to the reflection, I group the reflection. Using the pen tool, I add a straight line on top. Change the pressure curve of the line to get a tapered stroke. Adjust the width and group that single line. Set the group to erase and place more lines inside the group. That way I don't have to worry about their layer blend mode as the blend mode of the group is already set to erase. I add a few more lines on top of that group, just a white line with a pressure curve and a little bit of a Gaussian blur. I lower the opacity of those lines to 50% or lower with the layer blend mode already set to overlay. I create a darker version set to multiply and lower the opacity. I adjust the color of the sun to an off-white and apply the same color to the reflection below. Lastly, I'll add another element to the sky. I created the hot air balloon prior. It's based on a deformed circle and rectangles below. I position it, scale it and duplicate it, adjusting the opacity of the copies to fade away in the distance. I duplicate the closest one, mirror it as a reflection in the water lower the opacity and duplicate the group of the erased lines I used for the reflection of the shoreline.
seeing the reflection is inside a group to limit the effect of the erase, I assign a Gaussian blur to that group to finish off this sunrise scene. For the second landscape, I create a full screen rectangle, snapping it to the edges of the artboard and giving it a gradient from white to an off white with a hint of color. The feature element in this landscape will be the silhouette of a conifer. It's made up of stars, lines with a rather chaotic pressure curve and it's been taken from the free helpful hints collection. I duplicate the silhouette a few times, scale it, flip it and adjust it to create some variation. Seeing the trees consist of strokes and fills, I'm going to group the whole lot and create a color gradient below, choosing a green to a black gradient and set the group on top as a mask to below. The result is an editable rectangle. I can change the gradient in any way, shape or form. And a group as a mask. I can release the mask to make changes. Seeing the idea is to just see the tips of the conifers, I cover the base with white ellipses, give those a Gaussian blur for a nice fade, scale them and place them in a way that it looks like a fog cover. I group all the ellipses and place them in the group with the silhouettes. By setting this group's layer blend mode to multiply, the white gets erased and the gradient of the background shines through. I duplicate the group and lower the opacity. The result is a forest scene in the morning mist. The third and final scene will be an underwater scene. The start is another rectangle for the background. This time the gradient will be going from a lighter to a dark deep blue. I bring in the silhouette of a shark. This is another quick step-by-step -step tutorial from the Helpful Hints collection. It's created from circles deformed with the node tool, combined with the boolean head and touched up with the corner tool. I duplicate the shark, lower the opacity of the duplicates and flip it. I add a pre-made silhouette for the terrain, drawn with the pen tool and adjusted with the node tool for added detail. I use the transparency tool to fade it from the top to the bottom. Having set the layer blend mode to multiply, the silhouette mixes with the gradient of the background. I'm not happy with the colors I picked for the background. I'll change those to a lighter blue before adding some triangle shapes for the light. I give those a plain white and add a Gaussian blur. I might need a little bit more width at the top, so I go with a node tool, add another node at the top and extend the light ray, add transparency, duplicate and skew the light rays before changing the layer blend mode from normal to overlay. Just like the multiply with the black silhouette of the shark or the silhouette of the terrain, the change of the blend mode mixes the colors nicely with my background gradient. Working with opacities rather than changing the fill colors of the different objects makes it easier to edit and change the mood 
all I need to do is change the gradient in the background. For some extra detail, I add a shipwreck using the pen tool, simple shapes and lines using strokes and pressure curves. In order to fade this combination of lines and shapes, I use a mask with a gradient from white to a dark gray or black. I group the design and create a few lines then I'm going to cut out with the blend mode erase. That's the underwater scene using some simple silhouettes, a gradient and blurred shapes for the light. It doesn't take a lot of elements to create an interesting landscape. A simple gradient shapes created with the pen tool Gaussian blur and tapered strokes can do the magic. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment below and I will see you again soon.